Yo, how are you doing guys? Welcome to part two of the beginner's guide. Again, it will be broken down into parts into the video. And also again, there will be timestamps in the description below so you can skip to a certain part of the video. So anyway guys, let's get on with the video. All right, so this is going to be the MTE and now, or you know, all the outside of the first compound so let me first advise you to go get uh, some med kits either the medium ones or the large ones if you're going to get the medium ones take about eight if you're going to take the large ones take probably four or five and they're also going to want to get some ciders you can get med kits and everything from the tent in the south side of the town you can see it marked with the circle and the ciders you can get from the north at the bar you already know where to go for that but there's a circle just so you know so yeah, just make sure you go and get them items and then we'll get on with the MTE quests. All right, so after you've got your meds and your ciders, you want to be leaving town from the southwestern side because we're going to be heading to the MTE to go do all the quests there. Obviously, make sure you've collected all your quests, then head down to the exit. I will see you there and we'll head over to the MTE. All right, so here's the entrance to the MTE. It's on B4-1, just southwest of the compound that you've just left. So just start running down there. We'll talk about what items we're going to need. All right, so the first items that you really do want to find are the Watcher's Claws. You get these from killing the Watchers. You need five in total. That's for the quest that you're doing right now. But I'm also going to show you the items that you're going to need for your next trip. And if you can get all these items in your first trip, then you won't have to do three trips. You'll only have to do two. You've got to do two no matter what. But if you just get all these items this will save you doing a third trip so the rest of the items you're going to need is 13 furious metal free plastic free rubber free sulfur and 10 sticks if you can get all these items on your first trip that will be absolutely brilliant so now we're getting towards the mte i'm going to show you my loot run and this will show you all the best well all the boxes that you need to search to get all the bonus items all right, so I'd say the first thing you want to get is the wood. You can find that in this location in the MTE where the circle is on this patch of uh, grass as seen in the video clip. After that, we're going to be heading through the hole in the fence. You can see where the arrow is pointing. Just go through the hole right there. Take a left and you'll see the entrance to the main building. Now I'm going to be showing you my loot run to get all these items that you need. All right, so you're first going to start off by running into the main building. You'll see in a minute, uh, these are the watchers. They are invisible. Um, you can't slightly see them. But yeah, they are invisible. They're kind of annoying. Um, but yeah, there's the first box anyway. Let me just get rid of that. There we go. Get rid of that one. There we go. We're going to search these because, like I said, you want five watchers claws. You're definitely going to need five. But that's the main purpose of this run. But then you want to hit this storage box up. Boom. There's some of the items for the next missions. Drop down. There's another box right here loot that one then we're going to turn around run up we're going to drop down into the third one and take the second little entrance to the left another storage box there then go out of there take a right take a left and there's another storage box come back out and we're going to run back up this loot run is not very long trust me on that so yeah just run up take a right and we're going to be going through the gap in a second and just clear these watches out they are really annoying, trust me on that one. So yeah, we're just going to run through the gap and you'll see a box on the left underneath some stairs. We're going to loot this storage box, try and get a couple more items. Remember, you want to be looting all these watches because you need at minimum five watches claws. Then we're going to run up these stairs. Watch out for the anomaly here. Make sure you go around that. Open the next storage box. Get what you need out. Do a 180 and we're going to run straight out. Drop down, take a left run through the center of these pipes and you'll see another storage box just under here on the right hand side
after we've got that, hold your breath when you go into this anomaly. For me, it is left control. If you hold your breath, it won't do any damage to you. You can get some meds and food from there. When you get into the corner, you can let go of hold breath, loot it, and then hold breath again to get back out. But now we're just going to run up these ramps. There's another storage box right here. Then just crouch through this gap, take a left, and there's another storage box here. If no one's looted the MTE in the last couple of minutes, you will get everything that you need. And just drop down, run through, straight into this little building, and there's another one hiding in this corner. Make sure you don't run into the webs. Then we're going to run out, past the red container, up these stairs, take a left, just run around. You can see the next box on top of the little roof. So we're going to jump over, loot this box. Jump down, run back up the stairs. This time, up to the right, then to the left. And this is the last storage box. Now, if you are lucky and no one else has looted this place in the last couple of minutes, say five minutes, then you will get everything that you need. If not, just hang about, keep looting them over and over. Just stay in this building, you don't need to go out. But yeah, that's everything that you're going to need. Alright, so once you have all them items, I want you to head back to the starting town, hand in your quest, that'll give you the rest of the quest for all the other items you collected, hand in all them quests, and then you should have two left, well you should have three left after that, but there's only two more for the MTE, that'll be the one for the Watcher's armor, and the one for an anomaly, so then we're going to run back to the MTE, so I'll see you when we get back there, and I'm going to show you. Obviously, with the Watcher's armor, you just want to be killing Watchers again, but this time you're wanting their armor plates. You're going to need eight in total. Um, for the anomaly part, we're going to show you how to do that right now. All right, so you should have two quests now for the MTE, the Watcher's armor, which obviously you know how to do that. You kill Watchers, you take the armor, you need eight in total. There's a picture of them on screen right now. You need eight of them. You should know what you need by now anyway. And then for the anomaly thing, like the anomaly quest, you're going to need to come to this location into the MTE. This is the one that I personally do it at. And then I'm going to show you a clip of me doing it. So for doing this, all we need to do is find these containers right here. I've shown you the location on the map. We're going to run in the middle of these and we're going to see an anomaly. This is actually a teleport anomaly. So you can run into these and it'll teleport you. But don't run into it. Just stand in front of it really close to it like this. You'll see the circle going around. Boom, jobs are gotten, level 5. Now, the only thing you'll have to do now is get your 8 armor shells from killing watchers. So, good luck with that. And I think we're going to wrap it up here. This is going to be obviously level 5. This is going to be all the MTE quests and everything. There will be more videos coming out, so make sure to subscribe, like the video, and all that other good stuff. Drop any comments if you've got any questions or anything like that. And I'll catch you in the next one, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.